Here is a theory. What if Apex Mobile's global release was really just an alpha phase for our high energy heroes? More on this later in the video. Now this is my absolute favorite mobile game ever. Spent thousands of hours between COD Mobile and Arena Breakout both, but I always go back to how much this game stuck out above them. So it was released in May of 2022. This game was meant to bring a unique action of Apex Legends to mobile devices following the success of COD Mobile and PUBG alike. Despite the promising start and immense hype, this game was permanently shut down less than a year after its launch, literally like a few weeks before it actually reached the full year. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the reasons behind the rise and fall of Apex Legends Mobile and why this was once the most anticipated mobile game and why it ultimately failed. If you guys are new, make sure to double like, subscribe to the channel, both of those things really do help me out. Back when Apex Legends Mobile was announced, the excitement in the gaming community was palpable. And that's not a word I use very often. The original Apex Legends was already wildly popular on the PC and console. It was known for its fluid movement and unique legend style of gameplay. We were also hyped to see how well it would transition into mobile. In the lead up to its release, over 7.5 million people actually pre-registered on Android alone. And in its first month, the game actually brought in 11 Point six million in revenue, 22 million total downloads. This actually sounds really impressive and was somewhat of a good sign for the game going forward. Moreover, Apex Legends Mobile was also praised for its faithful recreation of the main game's experience to mobile. It was even crowned the best mobile game of 2022 by both Google and Apple Play stores. So what exactly happened? The mobile battle royale scene was already fully crowded with competitors like PUBG, COD Mobile, and kind of Fortnite even though it was removed by that time. To stand out, Apex Mobile really needed consistent updates and fresh content, both of which EA and Respawn just kind of really struggled to deliver, and also Tencent is to blame. Along with this, countless bugs like the infinite bunny hop and the double glitch which I will take full responsibility for popularizing even though I was only trying to make the game better in my defense but countless bugs like this propped up around the game and it just made it so much harder to actually play and enjoy it. Now, another big downfall for this game was the inability to actually maintain a consistent content cadence and along with this they were also very inconsistent with their actual content creators. They did not very much show love to any of the people who actually grinded their game out every single day. We're actually seeing this right now again with Warzone Mobile, but they are a little bit better at least. Now the mobile version actually did introduce unique characters like Fade and Rhapsody, so it seemed like the game was actually getting more unique and focused attention. We've actually never seen Fade or Rhapsody come to the PC or console version. I believe they might have added a legend with similar abilities to Fade, but I believe Rhapsody is still just in the dark. Along with this, the updates became just less frequent, performance started lagging behind in its competitors, and EA admitted themselves that the game was falling short of the bar that they had set in terms of quality, quantity, and cadence. Along with this, there were behind the scenes issues. It was a collaborative project between Respawn Entertainment and Tencent's Lightspeed and Quantum Studios. This is actually the same studio that developed PUBG. However, the cultural difference between the American and Chinese developers, if you don't know, Respawn is an American studio and Tencent is a Chinese studio it created friction particularly in how the game wanted to be prioritized in terms of its gameplay versus its monetization factors additionally disputes between Tencent and EA similar to those seen in other partnerships may have further contributed to this game's downfall by early 2023 the signs of trouble were clear earnings had significantly dropped from 11.6 million to just 3.5 million in December Players began leaving the game shortly after the infinite bunny hop glitch and the low glitch became popular, and the seasonal updates or bug fixes would either get postponed, dwindled, or just completely were left outright. And without these strong bug fixes and updates, there was little incentive for anyone to return. EA and Respawn eventually announced in January of 2023 that the game would shut down, citing the content's pipeline failure to meet expectations. While Apex Mobile was successful in its first early few months, simply could not sustain momentum. The players were left disappointed with the battle royale genre. As competitive as it is, there wasn't much room for error. Now here's a bit of a theory. Energy Heroes, which is a popular battle royale in China, is essentially not even essentially it literally is a reskin of apex mobile i mean the same mechanics the same game files and everything is literally just retextured what if we were just test dummies on the original apex mobile for an actual release in high energy heroes this theory doesn't have much substance besides intuition and gut feeling but there are many mobile gamers who have felt this way what do you think do you think this is true or do you think this is just a far-fetched tinfoil hat theory by the way high energy heroes is actually super addicting with the new first person mode update 
I've actually been playing it more and streaming it more, so if you do want to see it, stop by my YouTube or Twitch sometime when I'm live. So what does the story of Apex Mobile teach us? First, it shows that even big names and massive hype aren't enough to guarantee long-term success. The mobile gaming space is fast-paced and without consistent high-quality content, even the most anticipated titles can fail. Moreover, it's a reminder that partnerships between Western and Eastern studios, while often successful, can face unique challenges and can greatly impact the game. Even if it seems like the perfect game, there's also going to be the possibility of a perfect storm, and even a game like Apex Mobile can fail and ultimately shut down. I'm interested to hear your general thoughts on this game. What did you think about Apex Mobile? What do you think currently about High Energy Heroes? Is this game is literally the same thing? Did you play Apex Mobile? Do you miss it? Are we seeing the same thing in Warzone right now? I hope not, but things aren't looking great over there. I did make a video on Warzone. If you guys do want to check that out, I'll leave it in the card at the top right or in the description, whatever I remember to do. But yeah, that's really all I got for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good rest of the day. Peace.